In today's video, I am going to be throwing a touchdown in five different Maddens. We will be playing Madden 19, 20, 21, 22, and obviously 23. With Madden 24 on the horizon, I feel like now is a good time to go back and reflect on what we've been dealing with over the last five years. And it's going to be interesting to see all the features that have been given and taken away from us. And for those who are wondering where my franchise mode went, I still have it, but the thought of playing a full Madden game right now just makes me want to vomit. And as always, we got a couple of quick plugs. Use code Wyatt's World on prize picks or gfuel.com. G Fuel, it'll save you a discount on any of their products. Prize picks, it'll match up to $100 of your first deposit. But remember to always play responsibly and let's get started with Madden 19. All right, had to fire up the old Xbox for this one. Let's see the startup screen. I definitely remember that. Oh, all the servers are down. All right, guys, let's get out of here. So here is the Madden 19 menu. I did come back and briefly play this game like two years ago, but I still don't remember anything about it. I won't lie, as far as the design of this menu goes though, I think it's pretty clean. It reminds me of NHL. Very just plain and basic. Trust me, sometimes that's the best route to take. We don't need a guy standing in the background throwing a ball around. Oh, look at the Bills, 79 overall. Chargers were an 88, huh? Look at this one. Falcons, 91. Crazy, man. Uh, I think for this video, though, we will throw a touchdown to AB using Big Ben. I am putting this on pro, though. We don't need this to be rage-inducing. This is supposed to be fun, relaxing, and enjoyable. Carson Wentz. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this game doesn't look that bad. I think I remember saying that last time too, but these graphics have really held up, especially for being on last gen. It does look like they've kept the same formula for starting a game though. They got the fireworks, the planes flying over, and then it just shows the players running out of the tunnel. Not sure what else they could do with it. I'm just saying they haven't really changed much. Oh, wow, this is weird, very weird. The juke stick is on the run stick. Like, how does that make any sense? How are you supposed to run and juke at the same time? You can't. Not if it's the same button. What, like, what were they thinking? Tight end attack never fails, baby. Man, this squad is crazy. We got AB, Le'Veon Bell, Juju, Ben. They're all back. AB, baby, let's go. Get it. The Jesse James. There is AB. Touchdown. Ugh. Well, that's it for Madden 19, guys. I'm not gonna lie, off of that little bit of playing, it really didn't feel that bad. The only major flaw I noticed is how the juke and the run are on the same stick. Like, that was just dumb. But otherwise, I mean, that was pretty fun. All right, Madden 20. Big number. Big number. Okay, this is weird because I feel like this I just saw yesterday. This was the last good Madden, if you're asking me. I think I just played it so much that it's just burned into my head or something. Oh, yeah, this is where KO was introduced to, man, when KO was good. 78 for the Bills in this one. Ah! All right, we'll do a random team this game. Who are we going to throw a touchdown with? Ha! Ah! Deshaun Watson. And we will do it against the Vikings. Why not? This is exactly the same as Madden 19. Yep, and there's the fireworks, and we're going to get the players running out of the tunnels, right? Like I said, there's not much they can do to change that, but it would be nice to try and do something different. Like, it looks like we've been playing the same game forever. All right, Deshaun, let's hook up with our boy D Hop. Oh, easy. Easy money. Tell you right away, they uh, fixed the run stick on this game. I really don't know what they were thinking in 2019. Like, it was so bad, but this is already pretty much back to normal. Fells! That's a pick. No, it's not. It's a dime. D-Hop! Elite! Oh, come on. He's catching that every day. Xavier Rhodes in his prime ain't shutting that down. Actually, this was way after Xavier's prime. He was ass in 2020. Oh, Deshaun's fast as hell. Let's go. Oh! Oh! Dude, the movement is so crisp. Here we go, pocket break again. This is too easy, dude. We gotta throw a touchdown. Will Fuller. Burn him! Oh, yeah! So I'll tell you right now, this game feels like an arcade game, and that's why it is so damn fun. Like, it, it feels like I'm playing the Blitz or something. Probably not the best for simulation, but I would say on a fun scale, 
I understand my love for the game immediately when I go back to it four years later. Madden 20 remains to be elite if you're asking me. Okay, my buddy just summoned me for a round of golf, so I had to take a little break and this video might be delayed, so I am sorry. Also, Delvin Cook has been released by the Vikings officially? Nice. But now it is time for Madden 21. Oh no, I haven't heard this song in forever. What you know about me? Yo, what you know about me? Yo? <laughs> Good times. I do want to let you guys know this is also going to be on the old gen for Madden 21. I tried to download the X series one, but it wasn't working for some reason. So hopefully this one will. Oh wow, they're even advertising Madden 24 on this game. That's crazy. Anyway, this is Madden 21. And if you're asking me, this is kind of when Madden started to take a turn for the worst. This is also when they finally got the formula, you know, of a guy standing in the background all the time for your yard character or Tom Brady or whoever whoever the season goat is. Is it a problem? No, it's not a problem, but it's the same thing we've had for three years. Who should we throw a tud with this game? Should we do random again? Ha! The Bucks. Well, that'll be easy. Let's do it on the Dolphins too. Kind of curious as to how this game is gonna run. Obviously the startup looks about the same as the rest of the games, but this was the first Madden where you could have played it on an old or a new gen. So I don't know if this is just the same formula of Madden 20 or if this was supposed to be new and unique. Again, graphically, I, I have nothing bad to say about this. I think it looks fine. Fitz magic, no way. Ronald Jones is the running back, no way. All right, let's go Tommy. Uh, Gronk! Get out of here, bitch! I do want to actually say I, I like the playbook like this, though. I do not like how it looks on the new gen where it's on the bottom of the screen. This is a lot easier to see and it's a lot easier to navigate. I don't know why they felt the need to change the playbook. I mean, the playbook has been the same for essentially ever. Go, Tom! Uh! Got wheels, baby! Scotty! You've got him by a mile! Hey! Who's gonna catch the touchdown from Tommy? I'm guessing it's Chris Godwin. Indeed it is! I do, however, notice that when you catch a ball, though, your receivers do not automatically go upfield. They run to the outside. That's something they fixed, I believe, after this game. However, we have thrown a touchdown. We experienced Madden 21, and now it's time to move on to Madden 22. <laughs> this feels like it's been longer since I played it than Madden 20. I already hate this. I already don't want to play this. I'm already having PTSD. Menu's the exact same as Madden 21, except they changed it to where these weren't filled in letters. They were outlines, I think. And I mean, not a single difference. Let's let's just go into an exhibition and get out of here as soon as we can. Hey, the Bills got respect in this game, at least. They're an 88. Uh, let's be Cleveland. Guess we're facing the Jets, but uh, as you guys can tell, this looks just like Madden 23. And I mean, identical to it. Although we are on next gen now, though, so it's going to feel different and we're actually gonna get to have a decent comparison. Graphically, honestly, I maybe the grass looks a little bit better, but the players really don't. <laughs> they didn't look that bad on the last gen to begin with. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah! Austin Hooper, oh my goodness, he's elite! This game is great! I don't know why I ever hated it. I do actually wanna try and run around a little bit more though, cause I think I'm noticing something. Okay, so, you have a lot less control over your character. Like I've probably mentioned already in this video once, but I don't wanna sound ridiculous when I'm saying this. I actually think the old games feel better. Like this isn't, you know, terrible, unplayable, but the other game is certainly a lot more enjoyable to control the actual player in. Like this is not even a question. Yeah, okay. It's definitely physics in it, but like that, even when he catches the ball, you know, it takes him a second to start running. If this was the old gen Madden, he'd catch it and just start darting down the field. It's definitely like the arcadey aspect that these games do not have. However, that's Madden 22 and yeah, we're done with this piece of shit. I don't want to play it again. And now we got the final boss, Madden 23. There'll be no nostalgia with this game because I'm still playing this piece of shit. The only reason I have any respect for it is because John Madden's on the cover. Like, I gotta respect that part. You know, he died. He's the reason this game exists. Other than the cover though, this entire game can literally burn in the deepest depths of hell. They could give this game away for free, man, and I'm pretty sure people would still not play it. I think it is free on Xbox, to be completely honest. I'll use the Patriots and I'll play against the Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, gross. I'm not kidding you. After just playing the last four, even 22 on next gen, this game feels terrible. What in the world? Dude, this is, it's just really like really clunky. Gotta be something with the Unreal Engine, but like, I, I just don't know what the, the actual goal was for realism or what? Yeah. 
Juju! Actually, it's not Juju yet, it's Devontae Parker. Everything on this game is just slow. The ga this game just feels very, very slow. Were they advertising this as like the most realistic Madden yet? Cause I could, I could, wow. I could see that being like a thing. Like, you know, we got to make it slower paced to be like real football, but otherwise I don't know why they made it this slow paced. All right, let's just get this damn touchdown now. Hunter Henry. Oh, don't even show my old lineman. I don't give a fuck. That's a touchdown. All right, guys, that is it for today's video of me throwing a touchdown in five different Maddens. I know this video was kind of weird. It might have seemed kind of pointless, but it was something different. And that's what I'm trying to do this summer. If you guys did enjoy this video, you already know what to do to show support. And tomorrow, the new Fortnite season drops, and I'm considering playing it on this channel. So if you're around and you would want to see it on this channel, let me know. However, with everything I just said, have a good one, guys. I'm going to get it edited so you can watch it on time. And as always, I will see you in the next video.